Satnan, good to see you guys again. Um, today is the first video I'm uploading after I decided that I'm actually going to try and make sure that I do this um, twice a week for a long time. So I actually bought a tripod for myself and I tried out a new camera angle. I think uh, <laughs> on uh, on reflection and during editing I decided that that is, uh, it was not a very good choice of camera angle, so I think this is actually the only video where I've done that. It's like from up over the shoulder sort of thing. Um, I think for future videos I'm going back to uh, more front on, but it's just slightly better um, better angle and better view. Um, so it's got my face in as well, not just uh, my torso. <laughs> um, and yeah, I think uh, I think this is a really nice recipe. It is a lovely chicken and leek pie, um, and just with some nice mashed potato. Unfortunately, there was a point where <laughs> where I um, either forgot to record or somehow it didn't work. But basically, the plating up section and actually turning the boiled potatoes into the mash, I missed that out. Um, but you get to see you get to see the whole pie making process and trust me this is the nicest um, video yet in terms of taste it's potentially the nicest pie I've ever had so <laughs> I really hope you guys give this a try it's absolutely amazing um, but yeah apart from that I'm hoping you guys are enjoying the videos I really hope that uh, some more people uh, like and subscribe to my channel um, uh, because I want to um, do this for a long time and I just want to see that progress um, in the channel but I am aware this is only my fifth video but um, but yeah I'm, I'm enjoying this I hope you guys are too and yeah I really hope you guys enjoy the video cheers <laughs> For this recipe, you're going to need some chicken, some thick bacon, some leeks, some garlic, thyme, butter, potatoes, pre-made pastry, I've used puff pastry, some good milk, salt and pepper, mustard up optional, um, chicken stock and plain flour. So first up, I'm just going to do the prep work. Um, so first off, make sure that you wash your leeks and peel off the dirty uh, outer layer. It's also going to be a bit thicker. Um, so I'm just going to wash them. Just going to chop these. And um, one little tip that I like to use to A, help them cook better and B, uh, make them distribute nicely throughout the pie is to just chop them along, uh, but not all the way to the end. And then you can just chop them nicely like that and they come in more ribbons rather than just big fat circles and it just helps it to cook better get more of the actual flavour out into the dish. Now I'm just going to peel the potatoes then also going to peel some garlic. Heat up a bit of oil in a couple of pans. Okay, once the heat's ready just going to add the bacon just going to fry the bacon until it's nice and crispy and cook the chicken until it's cooked all the way through. Leave that to rest and I'm also going to turn that off and leave that also to the side. You get a decent chunk of your butter. Whack that in. And into that you're going to whack in your leek. I'm just going to squeeze, squeeze in some garlic. Yeah, let's put that all in there. Beautiful. Cut that off. Just cook it down for a sec. And the butter can go away. I'm going to add in 50 grams of plain flour. 50 grams is uh, what I thought was going to be right. I ended up using a little bit more. Um, just stir it in and make a little bit of a roux. Okay. 
Okay, now I'm just gonna pour in a bit of milk. Let it soak up into it, to the flour. Okay, now that is starting to look like a pie filling. Now I'm just gonna add in some chicken stock. You can use, obviously, shop bought, you can use a stock pot, a stock pot, but uh, I actually made um, some chicken stock in a previous video. You should go check that out as well if you haven't seen it already. Um, but I'm just gonna add some of that now. Pour this in. Okay, now just stir that in. Run your fingers down the stalk, whack the leaves in, that'll do. About what, half a teaspoon. Just stir it in until it's beautiful and thick. I think that's perfect. Okay, so I'm just gonna turn it off the heat now and get ready to actually start making the pie. Just gonna use a fork so I don't get all of the fat in. There is a lot of flavor in these juices, but I spent a lot of time building up the flavor in the actual pie sauce, so I want to actually get the flavor that I've built. Okay. Add all the chicken and all the bacon to your pie dish. And then you can just start ladling in your pie mix. Now I'm just going to mix it so the meat isn't all just at the bottom okay, let's move it out of the way and this i'm gonna put in a container and leave in the uh, fridge or freezer and then you can use it again for another pie you make maybe you can even use it for a fish pie now just get your pre-made pre-bought um, pastry plop it straight over the pan over the dish and just roll There we go. Then just make sure you tuck it around the sides. Make sure there's no gaps for the, the insides to get out. You can just cut off the edges. little pie just double check around the edges make sure that there's no gaps but yeah that looks fine to me okay maybe a little one here okay and then now if you want to get creative you can you can add a little bit of art on the top don't think I'll be winning any art awards for that. <laughs> okay, now I'm just going to um, brush over a little bit of um, egg wash. Slightly more egg wash than intended, but that's because I don't have a brush. All right, and then I'm just going to poke a little hole, a couple of little holes in, just to let some air escape. just to make sure it doesn't all collapse on itself and then boom there you have it ready to go in the oven 
about 40 minutes, maybe 35, uh, maybe a bit longer, uh, depending on what the crust looks like. Um, and I'm going to put it on top of a tray just in case any leaks out. I don't want it going on my oven trays. So I'm just going to whack that on here. And in it goes. Okay, now it's just time to chop the potatoes and get them ready to boil for the mashed potato. Just chop them, I'm going to chop them quite small just so they boil faster. Okay, when they're all chopped, make sure you get some water up to boiling point. Back in a little bit of salt, get a quick stir. Just going to wash my potatoes quickly. Yeah, just give them that quick wash quickly and then boom. Whack them in to boil. Um, and yeah, you just want them to get nice and soft so you can easily pass a knife through them. Um, 10 to 15 minutes for me, I usually, um, it usually takes around 12. So I'm just gonna let them boil and I'll just check them in about 12 minutes. Okay, like an absolute numpty, I uh, forgot to film plating it up. Uh, but I simply uh, made the mash by um, smashing up um, the potatoes in the pan and with a little bit of butter, um, some milk, some salt and pepper. And then I just got the pie out of the oven, um, sliced down the middle of the pastry and cut around the edges so that I could take it off and have half of the pastry each and then just simply uh, spooned the inside of the pie onto the plate. And let's be honest, that looks absolutely delicious, doesn't it? I'm just gonna give it a quick little try. Let's get it. Oh my God. It's just like a big hug, isn't it? that happiness on a plate. Glistening. Love it. See, what did I tell you? What <laughs> absolutely beautiful pie that was. And it was fun to make. Um, don't watch the terrible artwork. I said art, it was just the GXC for Game Chef. Um, but yeah, man, that was good. I hope you guys give it a try. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. And if you want to follow me on my so other social media, then check a look, take a look up there. And yeah, I'll see you next time.